In this video, we're going to learn how to make risotto. Risotto is a grain cooking method, uh, typically applied to short grain uh, rice, uh, traditionally uh, using arborio rice. Um, so a lot of our rice cooking techniques are going to start by rinsing the grains of rice, uh, but we are not going to do that with our arborio rice uh, because we're actually going to use the starch that's on the outside of the rice that in other methods we try to rinse off. We're going to use that to get our quality uh, mark of risotto which is that really smooth, creamy product. So to start, I've melted some clarified butter in the pan. I'm gonna add in my onions, and I'm just gonna sweat these onions. I'm not really trying to brown them. Just want to get, turn them a bit opaque and start them cooking. Uh, and I'm using about medium low heat. Okay, I don't need to use that high heat because I'm not trying to add any brown color. All right, now these onions have started to sweat, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my arborio rice. And I'm gonna to toss the, the rice uh, in the fat, and I'm gonna let it just toast. I'm, again, I'm not trying to add any color to the rice. Um, if you over toast the rice, your uh, risotto, instead of being a nice creamy color, uh, is going to be uh, a little bit on the brown side. Um, but I just want to start toasting some of those starches, uh, and I really want to make sure that I get the rice um, coated in all of that uh, fat. I also really like to use a wooden spoon for risotto. Um, it's really easy to, to stir. Um, it's probably my preferred tool for risotto. So I can smell that my, my onions have started to cook and also I'm starting to get just the slightest bit of toastiness uh, from my rice. Again, I haven't added any color. Just getting that smell. So uh, risotto is going to use um, very slow uh, combinations of, uh, very slow additions of uh, stock into our rice. So I'm using a, a three ounce ladle, but any two, three ounce ladle is going to be fine. And I'm going to add my liquid, and then I'm going to stir until that liquid is absorbed into the rice. And it's this constant stirring that's going to help us get that nice creamy texture. Uh, some risotto recipes will have you first uh, use uh, wine, so um, it would be the same process. Uh, you would just start with adding your wine, you would stir until that was incorporated, and then you would go to your chicken stock. The recipe I'm using today is just chicken stock. So you can see my liquid has absorbed. Going to add my next addition and continue to stir. And I am stirring pretty constantly, not saying you can't put the spoon down, walk away for a second and come back, but it's not something that, uh, you know, you can just walk away from the entire time. You do have to uh, constantly stir to get that nice desired creaminess that we're shooting for. And I'm waiting to add my next addition of liquid until all of the liquid has been absorbed. I'm on about medium heat right now, and my chicken stock uh, is, is hot. So I have my chicken stock uh, under, on a low flame uh, just to keep it, you can see it's kind of steaming a little bit, just to keep it steaming. All right, so I'm just gonna keep adding small amounts of my liquid uh, into my, uh, my rice here and continue to constantly stir. Uh, I'm gonna do that until my, uh, my rice is uh, at the tenderness that I want it to be. So we're gonna go ahead and keep adding uh, this liquid and keep stirring and we'll check back in with you in a bit. So I just finished adding my last addition of stock. Uh, and you can see my risotto uh, has really expanded in volume. Uh, I used all of the stock that I, uh, 
uh, had measured out for this risotto. Uh, so I'm just going to continue to stir uh, as this final uh, addition of stock is absorbed. Uh, and I want risotto to be a little bit loose. Um, it shouldn't be soupy, but it also shouldn't be pasty. Uh, it should kind of melt a little bit when we mound it. Um, so I'm actually going to stop my cooking now. Uh, risotto is also going to thicken as it sits, as these starches continue to, to gelatinize. So even though right now it's a really nice consistency, uh, you can see how nice and creamy it is, how nice and loose it is. Um, even if this sits for another two or three minutes, it's really going to, to firm up. Um, so let's go ahead and finish our risotto. I'm going to finish this risotto very simply by adding a little bit of whole butter. some salt and some white pepper. Uh, some people like to add cream to their risotto, uh, but you can see that we've really developed so much creaminess just from that starch. So for a, a straight risotto, we really don't uh, need to rely uh, on that cream to get the creaminess because those starches from that constant stirring are gonna give us that nice creaminess. We add the butter at the end, it's gonna give just a little bit of richness. It's also gonna give a really beautiful shine to our risotto. All right, I'm going to go ahead and give my risotto a little taste here. Mm. Yeah, great. So as for texture, when we taste, we want to make sure we evaluate the texture. The texture should be um, slightly firm, but not chewy. It shouldn't be crunchy or chewy, but we should still know that we're eating rice, right? A lot of times when um, I've eaten risotto in the past, people will overcook it, and it gets very, very mushy, almost like you can mush it in your mouth with your tongue and that's not what you want. You still want there to be uh, some integrity left to the rice, uh, a little bit of, of texture uh, left to that rice. And we want that nice creaminess. And again, you can see how nice and soft this is, really easy to scoop, uh, but it's also still really soft. As this continues to thicken, um, if we need to thin it back out before serving, if we're going to sit on this for a few minutes and we need to thin it out before serving, um, just another addition of hot chicken stock uh, or hot liquid uh, uh, stirred in uh, will thin our risotto back out to the consistency that we want. Let's review. When making risotto, start by sweating onions and toasting your rice grains, being careful not to add color to either. Next, two or three ounces of chicken stock added and then stirred constantly will ensure that our risotto achieves a nice creamy texture. Finally, our risotto should have a nice firm texture. It shouldn't be crunchy or chewy, but it also shouldn't be soft or gummy. As risotto thickens as it sits, another addition of liquid will thin out our risotto and get it back to the proper consistency for serving.